All right, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this now. I got my glove. Today is Wednesday, art demo Wednesday, guys. Today I get to do an art demo. Today you guys got two art demos. I, I, I did another one earlier. So lucky you. And lucky me that I get to paint it. I'm gonna do an art demo. And do the little je ne sais quoi. It has to. There has to be a little je ne sais quoi in there. If there's no je ne sais quoi, there is no art. Welcome everybody. Welcome Julie Bolts. Welcome uh, Beatrice uh, Ducam. Welcome RM Artworks. Welcome everybody to the to the show, the world's greatest living artist. Bam. So I'm gonna do a little uh, what would we call this? A little just a little scene right here, okay? Dude, dude, Daniel's like singing his heart out over there. <laughs> Tell him to hold on a little bit. <laughs> You don't have a heart? <laughs> my son's like singing his heart out on on uh, Minecraft or one of those. Oh, okay. So yeah, guys, here we go. A little city, okay? I'm gonna start like this because man, I'm so good. You want to do this? So, many people, including myself, we think that our brushes have to be on point, our oil has to be on point. Guys, I'm going to tell you something, okay? I'm going to tell you a little secret. Uh, these are all signs of procrastination. We just don't know that. You know, if all the, how does he get his oil like that? How does he get his paint like that? All of those things are procrastination and and uh, we don't know it. I know because I used to do the same thing. I used to watch other artists who I, I admired. And I used to be like, man, how does he do that? How does she do that? How can I do that? And the reality is that they do that because they put in time, you know? It's not because, it's not because they, uh, I don't know, they, they figured something out. And they're, you know, like they have a secret formula, like the Krusty Krab. Secret formula is that they put in the time, so they, they you know they start getting that thing going, that that je ne sais quoi, what I like to call momentum, artistic momentum, artistic momentum. It is the it's the holy grail when it comes to creating art and being super productive and super awesome. Oh, two thousand artistic momentum is the. It's everything. I don't believe in a religion, but I believe in artistic momentum. That I believe in with all my heart. Not just artistic momentum, all types of momentum, but I believe, because I'm an artist, right? I believe in artistic momentum. Artistic momentum is something I can't even explain. I'm, I'm not even gonna go into that because I, I tried to explain it and it just comes out all wrong. Artistic momentum is something you have to experience. Some people call it the muse, other people call it being inspired. I just call it momentum. The power of momentum is the is the holy grail when it comes to creating anything. How's it going, Luz Al Oleo? How's it going, Pablo? How's it going, Jorge? Good to see you guys here. These are super cool. Thank you for joining me in this crazy je ne sais quoi, a little painting. <laughs> what you don't like? You don't like me saying je ne sais quoi? I think I have, I think I have a ring to it, honey. But a little, my heart desires, my little heart desires to say je ne sais quoi, and I'll say it. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. I do what I want, mom. I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> You guys ever watch Johnny, uh, not Johnny, uh, Donnie Darko? I like that scene when the little kid, when the little kid's like, I'm not afraid anymore. That's how I feel when I'm painting. <laughs> I think that everybody goes through some sort of fear when they're creating artwork. 
whatever that is. It's really we're trying to adjust conditions, right? Oh man, my brush is too old. I gotta go get a new brush. This color's not right. The oil is not working with me. I don't like my medium. Blah blah blah. If I only if I only had a bigger canvas. If I only painted acrylic rather than oil, you know, I'm getting tired of oil, I'm getting tired of the smell, I'm getting tired of blah 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 It's all a bunch of BS. And we do that when momentum stops. We do that when you stop putting the time. You stop putting the time, you start looking for excuses to continue not putting the time. Because now you're afraid of what uh, you don't trust yourself. That's really what's happening. The trust is gone. It's gone out the window. In order to get it back, you have to put in the time. You will not get it back any other way. No other way. No way, Jose. No other way. No way, Jose. No way, Jose, because I'm Jose. So no way, Jose. You will not get it back unless you put the time. Can't get it back unless you put the time. The time is what gets it back. There's even a song going on in here. And that is the... Um, that is the... How would, you, how would we call this? Is the... Come on, come on. I can say it. I'm going to spit it out right now. It is the challenge. It is the drama of every artist. Uh, the drama is... Man, there's days that I'm so inspired and then there's days that I don't even want to show up to the studio. I figured it out why. I figured it out why. There's days you show up and you show up and you show up and you show up. And there's days you just kind of show up and that's why you have those feelings. It's nothing but that. It is nothing but loss, losing momentum. You lose momentum, you lose the, you, you take your eye off the ball. That's really what's happening. And you're trying to explain away why, oh why, am I not inspired today? You can't be. You cannot be inspired that way. So I'm going to start doing some uh, um, coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching for those of you who are into, into uh, that, those of you who already know how to paint, because I'm, I'm, I'm doing also some videos to, to do a little tutorial more in depth, right? For those of you who want to learn how to paint, those of you who may maybe not, or maybe know how to paint, but want to paint sort of in this type of loose brushwork style. Uh, I'm doing that, but those of you who already know how to paint, who don't have a problem with painting, but maybe you have a problem with, I don't know how to sell, or I don't know how to show up to the studio, or I don't know how to get a gallery show, and on and on and on and on. I'm going to show you guys uh, what I've done. And the way I'm going to do that is by doing one-on-one -on -one calls. We're going to do a little consulting gig around town. So that way you guys can uh, join us, right? Uh, those of you who want to learn from the world's greatest living artists, choo -choo pow! <laughs> those of you who want to learn from my mistakes and my wins, uh, I will be setting that up in no time. Little consulting calls. You guys are going to ask me, but dude, how do I do this? How did you do that? And then bam, I'll tell you guys all about it. One on one. I'll take you by the hand and I'll make sure that you too, that you too figure how to do that. That you too have a chance on that. Because I know that it's a lonely world being an artist. Many times it's a lonely world. Why is it a lonely world? It's a lonely world because we... We tend to think that being an artist is, is all this um, uh, 
fuzz and whatnot, but that really just happens when you get when you get press, when you get press coverage, right? It's really fun. You're in the you're in the gallery, the local news come by, you start getting press, you know, you start getting the, the, the what do you call the the someone writes about you and on and on and on. But that's only a ride, right? If you don't keep that going, uh, it, it's it's a lonely it's a lonely little place, right? Because now you have to go back to the studio and you have to be by yourself, and on and on and on and on, and that can have a weight on you if you haven't learned how to handle that, right? If you have not learned how to handle that, it can have a little a little weight, just because the nature of the business is a bit lonely. The nature of the business is a little bit lonely. And it's okay. It's part of it. I get lonely in here. I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Uh, those of you who are later watching this on YouTube, uh, send me a message. Ask me about my art consulting super awesome service that I'm going to be doing, my, my little coaching one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and those of you who are watching it on, on, um, Instagram, well, DM me, DM me if you want to get in early on this game. Uh, I sell, I sell my artwork wherever I can and selling is, I know it's not the ultimate thing. I know a lot of people are not in that bandwagon yet. I know a lot of you are more in the, dude, how do I even take a photograph of my artwork, you know? And there's there's info out there. We all know that there's info out there. The thing is knowing what's the best info and what is already working for someone, right? I think that's really the thing. It's not that we don't know there's info out there. There's tons of info, but we don't trust it. That's the problem. So we want to see who's already doing it. And I, I mean, that's what I would do. I would see who's already doing it, and then from there, right? I would use that. So, so that's what I'm going to be doing: one-on-one -on -one coaching, one-on-one -on -one consulting, and just uh, walking you through the different hurdles that you may have from showing up to the studio. I know it sounds bizarre, but that is really the main problem most artists have. Uh, from doing that to to uh, Getting getting your work in a platform consistently and persistently to getting a gallery. I I a lot of people don't know that, but I am also a gallery artist. I also show on galleries. I also show I show where I can. I don't hold back. Holding back is no bueno. Holding back is is for people who are afraid. And I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, I recently watched Donnie Darko. My wife was like, you got to see this movie. You got to see this movie. You're going to love it, right? And and I was like, no, nah, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. And then when I saw that little kid going, I'm not afraid anymore. I was like, see, I'm going to say that because that's how I feel about art. That's how everybody should feel about creating artwork. Everybody should be like, I'm not afraid anymore, man. I'm going to do my artwork. I'm going to show the world what I'm about. Right? You got to. You have to do that. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you are not doing yourself a favor. You're you're actually doing yourself a disservice. If you're if you're an artist who who if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to create artwork, uh, whatever that is, right? Whether you're doing original, uh, like something very uh, avant garde, or you're doing some derivative stuff, or you're doing some super hyper realistic work or you're doing some uh loose brush like myself whatever you do uh the very first thing you need to do is is like 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 learn the skill set right that's like the very first thing because i know some people have already contacted me and they're like things aren't working for me and i keep telling you guys well it doesn't matter how you paint but you, you gotta you, you know it doesn't matter the style but you gotta learn the skill set otherwise people may not connect with you you know, maybe your skill set is like, is completely uh, different than most artists, right? Maybe your skill set is like very Chagallesque. Maybe you paint like Chagall. I don't know. Maybe you're a Fauvist painter. 
whatever you do, maybe you are a, I don't know, like super, super cool guy like, uh, like myself. <laughs> or like, or like Chuck Close. You know, something like that. It doesn't matter what your gig is. You have to own your skill set. People, people, uh, there's always, there's always someone that's going to like what you do. But you have to, you have to own it, right? You have to own the skill set. So always someone's going to be like, at, the, at any stage you are, someone's going to like what you're doing. So again, guys. I'm going to be doing, I know I'm pitching this, but that's the way it is, you know, this is, this is what I do. So, this is what you should probably be doing too. You just don't do it. You should probably be doing this too. Like pitching your stuff, pitching yourself, you know. Every day I'm hustling. <laughs> but you know what guys, uh, putting all, all fun stuff, I don't want to put fun stuff out of the way, but, but you know, in all seriousness guys, uh, I will be doing coaching one on one, uh, and this is not because I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna do that because I'm so cool. Uh, it didn't start that way. It really, they, I didn't want to do it. I was actually avoiding it. But a lot of people have contacted me already. I think through 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 uh, through seeing me in in different platforms or through seeing me on on um, on YouTube or e uh, eBay too. People have seen me, and even people have contacted me. Uh, people have seen me on Facebook and they're like, dude, 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 like, how do you do this? How do you do that? And I was like, oh, man. So I'm extremely generous with my stuff, uh, with what I do. I know a lot of people are very afraid of that. They're like, I don't want people to paint like me. I don't want people to look at me. I don't want, you know, all that kind of BS, right? Dude, you know what you should be afraid of? You should be afraid of someone outworking you. That's what you should be afraid of if you want to be afraid of something. And that's not even a fear, should have, because everybody does things differently. If they're doing the same thing, it's not going to work for them. Sooner or later, people are going to find out that if they're doing the same thing, it's not going to work for them. Because everybody has that little edge, right? Everybody has that little angle. The little je ne sais quoi. <laughs> I start talking about, about coaching and whatnot, and people are like, I don't want to listen to this anymore. It's not free anymore. <laughs> No, 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 no. It is free. There's a lot of free stuff. You know what? If you don't want to pay my coaching, uh, then I'm going to be... I haven't even put it together. I'm just talking to you guys about it. Because if I talk to you guys about it, then you guys will know about it when it's ready. Uh, but if you don't want to pay anything, all you have to do is just go to my go to my YouTube channel. I have over a thousand. One thousand. I don't know. I don't know any artist who's got that many. Maybe because I'm local like that. I got 1,000 videos on everything from marketing to waking up with the right attitude to writing your goals to, you know, you, you don't want to pay me anything to coach. Don't pay me anything. It's all right. <laughs> Go get it for free. No, I'm, 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 not, I'm not going to uh, force you guys to do that. Uh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of great information out there. There's a lot of great information, not just not just from me, from a lot of people out there. The problem is, who do you trust? Because there's a lot of people giving information, but they, they actually they actually don't make a living being artists. You know, they're they're bloggers or they're doing something else. You know, by all please do not learn how to sell art from a blogger. Do yourself a favor, don't do that. Like if you want to learn how to blog. And how to monetize YouTube from blogging, uh, then contact a blogger. But, but don't contact a blogger who doesn't sell art about selling art. There's a lot of art bloggers out there that uh, they, that's what they do. They blog. You know, let's keep it real. First thing we have to do is keep it real. Keep it real. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julie. Uh, the first thing we have to do is keep it real. There is a lot of info. But not all info is made the same way. Some info is legit. Some info is just theoretical. Be careful with the theoretical. With, I would do it like this. I would do it like that. That's not going to uh, do you much good because 
because again, your 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 experience, your opinion is just as good as the person giving it to you. You know, if if you're gonna get an opinion, like I don't want opinions. I want I want someone to be like, dude, this is what I did, and this is how it worked for me. Now, if you do it like this, you know, uh, it might work for you. I don't know, but this is what I did, and this is what this is how it worked for me, right? You want at least that. I would think that's what I would want. You know, one of, one of the things that I started noticing is that about this whole because uh, I wasn't I wasn't I, I wasn't feeling it. Like I'm like eh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into the whole you know um, consulting thing, right? I don't want to. I got I got paintings to do. I got stuff to do. I don't want to. Like like a hundred bucks in consulting is not gonna make me or break me. Like I don't I don't I don't want to do that, right? So I, I fought it for a long time. But then then I, I started realizing you know what? Some people actually do need that because I remember I remember paying for consulting and I needed it. You know, I needed it for the coaching, right? Like hey, how do you how do you handle this? How do you do that? You know, someone who actually knows. Uh, it was very difficult for me to find someone who actually knew. I actually spent some money before before I found people that actually knew, and and uh, it wasn't that easy. It wasn't that easy because a lot of people, again, a lot of people tell you about theory stuff, like theoretical stuff. They don't tell you. They don't tell you stuff that they've done or stuff that they actually know. Well, they have to do it. If they don't do it, it's kind of like BS. But they have to do it. Look at that. How's it going, uh, Cloudy? I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Cloudy? Uh, Ryan Antonio, Rio Antonio. That's how we go. Yeah. Julie Bolts, thank you so much. I'm taking my time with this thing because I'm really enjoying this and I'm enjoying this session. I'm enjoying talking to you guys about my ideas and my uh, my new gig that I'm putting together. My one-on-one -on -one coaching for those artists out there who are not, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think that everybody needs coaching. I really don't think. But I know that. Sometimes we get stuck in some stuff, you know? And sometimes you need someone to be like, dude, look, this is how you do that. This is how you handle that, right? This is how you handle this. Because sometimes what happens to us as artists is that, is that we're looking to see who else has done it. And most, most of the time, uh, there is not that many artists making a full-time living. So it's very difficult to get coaching from someone who just kind of shows up every now and then or makes like, you know, a couple of dollars here and there and not really make a living. It's, it's difficult when it comes to, you know, if you're asking questions about that. If you're asking questions about, about showing up, it's difficult to get coaching or to get feedback from an artist who never shows up, right? From an artist who paints when they feel like it. You don't want to get, you don't want to get feedback from an artist who's like, dude, I would do it like this. And then they show up like once a month to the studio, you know, or they show up every day for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't want that. I don't want to get like advice from someone, you know, it's like, it's like one of my mentors said, I don't want to, I don't want to get marriage advice from someone who is divorced, right? And I'm totally, totally a uh, believer in that. Like, like they'll tell you what not to do, but they won't tell you what to do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's like, I don't, I don't want advice from someone who, who lost that battle, right? I want to get advice from someone who thrived, someone who's making it, someone, someone who continues to do it, not someone who just did it, right? Like my advice wouldn't be any good to anyone if I was a painter, I don't know, 10 years ago and I'm not painting today because it, it's not going to make any sense, right? Or my advice won't mean anything if I sold. Yeah, yeah, man, I sold art in the 80s. Well, like, do you understand what it is to sell art today? Do you understand about uh, different online platforms? Do you understand about, you know, 
Instagram? Do you understand about this? Do you understand about that? Uh, you know, I don't know. YouTube, uh, Facebook ads and stuff like that, right? Do you have any experience? Any, even, even a little bit of experience, right? Do you have any experience on that? If you don't, and you know, I got, I can't tell you how to, how to get, you know, how to get to, to 20,000, uh, followers on Instagram. I don't have them. So I can't, I can't tell you about that. Right. I don't have them. So I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm an, I'm an Instagram expert. No, I'm an artist. I paint. I paint and I paint for a living. I can talk to you about that. I can talk to you extensively about how to do that. Because I, I get the nose. Hi, oh, baby. My, 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 my wife is in the other room. She's just listening to me like, this guy's crazy. I'm in the know, huh, honey? Yeah. Look at that. Man, this is so awesome. So good. World's greatest living artist. Bam. So yeah, guys. This is pretty much how it's going to roll out. I'm going to keep you guys posted. Those of you who are interested, DM me and be like, dude, what's your deal with this uh, coaching one-on-one? -on -one? I'll tell you. I'm going to set it up, uh, um, one of those uh, little softwares. You set up the, the time and the, the to schedule calls, right? To schedule phone calls. And then, because some people have asked me uh, already, like, I, I need to go beyond already. Like, like you have a lot of great info and it's free on, on YouTube. I have over a thousand videos on YouTube. It's free. All of the info is free. There's, you're not paying anything there. And I talk about all kinds of experiences that I actually went through. And, and for you to pay attention and not go through that, right? Or things to do that, that people don't talk about. Like, uh, as simple as, as people are like, oh, how do I get a, an art exhibit, right? How do I get an art exhibit? And people are like, like scratching their heads and people are like, you got to study the gallery. You got to make a connection with the gallery. You got to make a, uh, uh, what do they say? There's a lot of people that say you have to, you have to make a, you have, yeah, you have to study, you have to make a connection, you have to make a relationship and on and on and on. And I'm sure I'm not discrediting that. I'm sure those things work, Right. But a lot of that gets lost in analysis by paralysis, right? A lot of that is just, it's just you're just you're just paralyzing. You're lost in knowledge. You're lost in 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 in, in information. Not even knowledge. It's information. You know, one of the quickest ways to do that is just to walk in and start talking to people and start talking, start talking about value propositions. A lot of people don't know about that, but if you have fifty thousand followers on Instagram, you have a lot of value. That a lot of people want, especially if you engage with your audience. If you don't engage with your audience, you may not have that much value. It only it would only look like value, but it might not be that much value, right? If you have a, I don't know, if you if you have an email list with over a thousand people that you actually engage with, you have a lot of value, and you don't know that you have a lot of value. Uh, if you don't have that, if you have twenty people that you know that that, that like you and trust you and follow you around. And believe in your dream, you have a lot of value in the marketplace. I'm not talking about personal value. Everybody's value, extremely value. I'm talking about market value. You know? You go and you talk to, a, to an art dealer, uh, uh, gallerist, yeah. and you simply tell them or her I'm sorry, Daniel, yeah. that your friends are coming to the show, not your show. Any random show, because everybody's going to come. Even your grandma's going to go to your show. No, you're going to take him to any random show. He's going to love you. Because, because galleries care about one thing. Traffic. Movement. Only galleries that don't, that don't uh, really, they're not savvy. They don't, they don't know what they're doing. And, they, and they're suffering the consequence of not knowing what they're doing. Uh, don't care about that. They're like, man, I just care about the artwork. They're purists, right? Everybody should care about the artwork. That's the very first thing. But putting that aside, once you once you understand that that is the first thing, otherwise, I mean, what's the point in being a, in the art, right? In the arts. Then people start caring about, okay, well, how do I get people to show up? 
to this art exhibit? How do I get people interested in this artist or this painting? And on and on and on and on. And that's where, that's where you come in with value propositions. That's where you come in with, you know, a, a gallery owner is not going to be like, man, I can't wait to put your artwork in my, in my studio. As much as he or she likes it, he or she is first, 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 first thinking about how to pay that damn rent. That's the very first thing they're thinking. Why do I know that? My wife and I owned a boutique before. We've been brick and mortar uh, entrepreneurs. That is the very first thing people are thinking about. That is the number one. Of course we're thinking about, you know, the designers, the this, the that, the, the on and on and on and on, all the things that you love. And, 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 and of course, great art, great design, whatever, right? You're thinking about all of that? The, the first, the very first thing about everything else, they're thinking about how to get people into those doors. Do not kid yourself. There are certain things that you must uh, understand maybe to play the game. You know, if you go there and you're like, oh, I have my artwork here. Please show my artwork. They're probably going to be like, yeah, and so do this other 10,000 artists who are begging me to put their artwork in my walls. But that is not my problem. My problem is how am I going to make the next payment of rent for the month? My problem, maybe maybe they're doing well. Maybe they're not thinking about how to make the next payment. Maybe they're above water already. And they're thinking, how do I pay for Google Ads? How do I pay for Facebook Ads? How do I get advertisement on TV, on the radio? How do you know? They're always thinking about how to stay open, guys. That's the very first thing they're thinking about. So, I will talk to you about all kinds of cool stuff like that. Thank you so much, E. Uh, Sarani Artworks. I love those hearts, guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. My style is like super awesome. It's super je ne sais quoi. It's got all kinds of crazy fun circles around it. Um... I've worked hard to play around with these colors and this kind of thing, and it's it's super fun. It's super fun, super juicy. Look at it; it's like super juicy. I love it. I absolutely love it. Love what you do, guys. Love what you do, uh, but do what you love. <laughs> if that makes any sense. The only the only the only way you're gonna love it is if you if you get good at it, and the only way to get good at it is to show up. Okay, you're not gonna love something you you don't. You don't, you don't trust. When you start trusting it, you start loving it. Okay? When you start trusting it, you start loving it. If you don't trust it, you're not going to love it. And the way to get trust is uh, you got to be, uh, you got to know what you're doing. Right? You, you know what you're doing, you start trusting yourself. And that is the only way to do that is to put in the time. To put in the time and put in the effort. Put in time and effort. It's both. You can't just put time. You got to put time and effort. Both come together. Only employees. I have a saying. Only employees put in time. Only employees uh, clock in. Right? If you're an artist, you're not an employee. You're a self. Uh, uh, you're a, a, an entrepreneur, whether you know it or not. If you're an artist. You're not an employee, so you cannot just put in time. Every time you, every time I just, I just make that mistake of putting time, I get slapped by life. Life comes and slaps me. Pop, pop, pop. Take that. Life goes like this. Tap, 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 tap. And I'm like, please leave me alone, life. Don't slap me anymore. Yes, because you were not committed enough to put in more than just time. I mean, you know. An employee puts in time. Anyone puts in time. They're like, oh man, I gotta go to work, man. I gotta get to work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clock in my hours. No, you gotta put in more than time. Time is a given. Of course you have to put in time. Otherwise, you know, like what's gonna work? You have to put effort. Effort. You have to go deep. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yes, amen. That's right. I'm only in a level... Uh, in A-level art, I'm trying hardest to succeed as an artist. I love that. I love that. Again, guys, those of you who are interested, I will be doing uh, coaching 
I know I pitched this, but I'm pitching it again just because I'm cool like that. Uh, I'm going to be doing one-on-one -on -one coaching for those of you who are interested in talking to me for 30 minutes, one hour, and uh, one hour and a half. <laughs> I think, what's that? 60? 90 minutes. So uh, I don't think I can go beyond that because I'm going to be like, man, I got to get back to work. Like work as in paint, right? Because I'll be working too. But... <laughs> But uh, uh, I'll be doing that just because of the amount of people that have contacted me. I cannot run away from it anymore. I think it's, my, it's part of my commitment to help others. I can't run away from it anymore. I used to run away. I've, I've been a full-time artist for the past six years. And I've run away from it every single year. Uh, yeah, the one-on-one -on -one consulting is going to be paid, guys. I haven't set it up yet. I'm just talking to you guys about it. I will set it up. Uh, I will set it up uh, very quick and, and probably probably in the next couple of days or so. And uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a phone phone consulting, and you guys get to ask me questions and whatnot uh, about not about me like who like you guys who like why are you gonna pay about me right? No, like you. How do you get to the next level? How do you put in the time? How do you you know where do you buy supplies right? Where do you buy uh, paint in bulk and this and that. How do you store it? How how do I get from point A to point B? How do how did you get to making a full time living and earning over six figure income a year? Cha ching! Yes, that's me. Uh, you know stuff like that. How does it start working for you? How do you get commissions? Right. Com uh, just quit my part time job, says Karine, uh, Karine Hitchman, artisan, artists, uh, dedicated to my art business. That's awesome. That's awesome. Power, power to the people. That's so cool. Uh, was it hard to become a full time artist? Yes, it's very hard, but it's extremely rewarding. Uh, it's, it, you, it, you, you basically, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Okay, guys, you basically, you basically kind of, uh, have your eyeballs bleed a little bit. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say, it's not a walk in the park. It is not a walk in the park, but it is, it is extremely rewarding and there are ways of doing it. Uh, uh there's a lot of misinformation out there as to how to do it. A lot of people are like, Go do YouTube videos and then monetize on the YouTube videos. That's cool, but that's not that's not that's not making a living as an artist. That's making a living as a blogger. Like, don't don't get confused, right? There's people saying out there like like oh, go sell T-shirts and then that's not making a living as an artist. That's making a living as a I don't know graphic designer, T-shirt design. No, like making a living is creating artwork, selling artwork, talking to people about artwork, and and it's like it has to do with your artwork. And if you're a painter, it has to do about selling paintings and, and getting it on the, in the hands of people that are actually going to exchange money, right? I'm not talking about, about uh, there's a lot of people that talk about, oh, how can I exchange my, uh, I don't know, do trades. Like, oh, I cut hair, so I'm going to give someone a painting so that they can cut my hair. Like, those are cool tricks. I, you know, I respect the hustle, the hustle. I'm not going to hate on the hustle because everybody does things differently. Uh, but that is not making a living as an artist. There's people talking about that kind of stuff. That's just, that's just, you know, that's just hustling some extra income, you know, or extra services in your life, whatever, you know, maybe you, maybe you know a personal chef and, you know, they want a big painting on their house or whatever. And you're like, dude, I'll, I'll trade painting for, for food service, right? That kind of stuff. That's cool. That's hustle. But that's not making a living as an artist. Like, like, please don't don't get those things confused. Because uh, I know there's a lot of people talking about that kind of stuff out there. There's people talking about about service for service for service. Uh, there's people talking about here, give me a painting and I'll give you exposure. And that's definitely not making a living as an artist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's but that's all marketing, right? That's all marketing. Like like that's part of marketing, but it's not necessarily like making a living as an artist is me telling you this right now. Look, I made this painting, super awesome. I'm gonna be posting this painting on eBay as an auction. The auction will start at 99 cents. Okay, no reserve. So if you win it at 99 cents, well, I'm stupid. You know, you get to take a super awesome painting that I usually uh, see this. 
uh, in other galleries and other settings. This paintings, right? My paintings, not other people's paintings, my paintings. Uh, in, in, in shops and galleries, this goes for about around 700 bucks. 795 if it's uh, framed and, and ready to hang and whatnot. And I will, you know, $795, that's the value. That's the retail value. And I will be posting it on eBay for not, uh, at an auction that starts at 99 cents. Some people have won it at 99 cents just because nobody shows up that day. You know, lucky them. I, I'm not going to hate on that because that's the, that's the game. That is selling, guys. Okay? That is making a living as an artist. That's the kind of stuff I'm going to be talking about. Uh, what it means is that you're, you're telling people, look, go to my store. It's, it, you're exchanging value, right? Go to my store and you will find this painting that it's that the value, the retail value, it's $795, right? Any gallery would easily sell it for that. Uh, and 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 uh, I have it for uh, at an auction with no reserve, which means that if someone wins it at two dollars, they want it at two dollars fair and square, right? So that's one of the ways I do things. And and if you uh, if you want to go check that out, go to my profile on on the Instagram, my Instagram profile. If later on you're watching this on on YouTube, there's a link below somewhere in the in the in the in the in the info about what this video is about. There's a link below uh, to my eBay store. But if you're on Instagram, there the only link I have on my profile is the eBay link. So click on that. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you're just learning, you know, maybe you just want to, you know, just you're learning and you want to get ideas and you're, you're, you want to expand a little bit. Go check out what I got, you know, go check out what I got. Bring your friends along. Go show your artsy friends what I got. What, how am I doing things? And, and, uh, maybe you learn how to do something. Maybe you learn how not to do something. I don't know. And, uh, that's, that's when you start selling, right? When you start talking about value and you're exchanging value. So marketing, marketing, marketing. That's it. That's, that's how it's done. Uh, that's what Karen says. Uh, Sarah and artwork says, could you please keep this up later so I can take notes? Absolutely. I'm going to share this on the Insta story. So I'm going to keep it here. Rewatch it, rewatch it and rewatch it. This is the kind of stuff that people don't like to talk about. Artists are so afraid to talk about this kind of stuff. I am not afraid because what you should be afraid if you're an artist is that someone outperforms you. That's really what you should be afraid of because it comes down to work, guys. What we forget about art, we're always forgetting this part about art, okay? We're like, oh man, I'm an artist, I'm an artist. I do art, right? And we, we're like, we're so proud of it, right? We're like, I do art, 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 art. We're always like screaming about art. We forget about this beautiful word right here. Oh, I forgot an R. <laughs> Wook. <laughs> We forget about that word, right? Work. Work is what separates the boys from the men. Okay? Work is, is everything. And, and most people don't talk about this. And you could... I can guarantee why their stuff is not working. Why they're not selling artwork. Why, why they're not getting commissions. Why they're not getting shows. It's because of this. It's not because of this. Everybody thinks it's about this. No. Your mom, your nanny, your auntie, everybody loves what you do. You love what you do. Everybody believes in you. You believe in yourself. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe more people believe in you than you believe in yourself. That's probably more true. Uh, but everybody talks about this. Like, my art is not good enough. Or my art is excellent. And blah, blah, blah. But almost 99% of people forget about this. This is the kind of ish that I'm going to coach people about. This is the kind of stuff. I'm not gonna get into your art, unless you want me to. But I'm not gonna get into your art because that's not my business. Everybody paints different and everybody creates and has a creative process different. I'm gonna talk about this. Because this is what's going to get you to the next step. So I'll leave you guys with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. World's greatest living artist, that's who I am. I didn't choose the art, the art, uh, the art world, the art world chose me. <laughs> guys take care please share it give me some hearts if you found any value here give me some hearts share this thing i don't know talk to people about it 
let other people, let other artists, don't be stingy with the info. Let other artists know about it. Share the uh, the, the, the video. I'm gonna I'm gonna be posting this on YouTube also. Uh, go check out my YouTube if you haven't checked out my YouTube page. My YouTube, uh, uh, yeah, my YouTube page. Go check it out because I have over a thousand, yes, one thousand one zero 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 videos where I talk about extensively, extensively talk about uh, being an artist, the artistic process, getting gallery exhibits, getting commissions. I'm only going to talk to you guys about stuff that I know. I have no idea about licensing. So I won't talk to you and I won't pretend to talk to you about that because I have no idea about, you know, licensing gigs and all of that. You're going to have to talk to someone else for that. I will talk to you. I'm going to be straight with you. I'm going to straight I'm going to be straight shooter. I'm going to talk to you guys about what I know. What I don't know, I, I I'm not going to feel comfortable talking to you about. Or what I know very little, I'm not going to feel comfortable talking to you about that. But I will talk to you about what has gotten me from from, you know, making a couple of bucks here and there selling artwork to uh to making six figure over six figures uh, a year making you know selling artwork not 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 monetizing on YouTube actually I just got a, an, an an email from someone who told me that that I haven't monetized on YouTube I guess I haven't turned that little thing on or whatever on the, on the for the for the commercials and that I'm missing out on on someone says that I'm missing out on six hundred dollars a month someone else says that they've made I don't know they made some they run some numbers and that I'm missing over a thousand bucks a month. So that tells you that I I I don't even I don't even know how to do that because I'm a painter I'm not a blogger right so so I'm, I'm missing out on that income I guess so that 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 income would probably be very good for uh, I don't know some some uh, Facebook ads or something like that I might use it for that who knows thank you so much guys take care uh, have a great rest of your day be prolific be proactive work 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 ain't nothing happening without this everybody knows. Everybody knows the artist, you know, has to be good. Everybody knows you love art. Everybody knows that, you know, art touches people and whatnot. But art's not going to touch people unless you take art to people. And if you're going to take art to people, you got to use this. You got to work. Thank you so much. Take care. The world's greatest living artist is signing off. Oh, one more thing. Uh, please uh, stay uh, stay tuned because in the next couple of days I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm going to run this this uh, uh, consulting right this consulting thing I'm gonna tell you guys how how to go about it so how to uh, all the all the details about it right what I'm gonna charge and whatnot it's going to be super affordable I want to make it affordable so that people can actually you know I don't know can can get actual help right. And and if you don't feel like I helped you, well, you know, we'll we'll, we'll work something out. But I want to help you. So take care. Adios.